Hey guys, welcome back to 11 Cups. So over the last year that I've been running this channel, I slowly kind of racked up a bunch of uh, scales in my hand. I have the Time of Black Mirror, which is one of my personal favorites. Of course, I have my trusty little uh, budget scale that I'm still using for espresso and it's been running like a champ. And of course, recently I have also received the Akaya Pearl. And there has been some comments on the Time More Black Mirror video asking about the new upgraded Time More Black Mirror Basic Plus. And a couple months back, I actually have reached out to Time More in regards to the Basic Plus version, which not a lot of US uh, shops at the time were carrying. And I was just really curious about what is the actual improvements over the original uh, Black Mirror. Because from the outside, there's really not that big of a difference that I could tell. And what I got back from Time War is an email. Basically, they're saying that the new upgraded version uh, added a physical switch for longer standby time. It have improved structure to further the weighing accuracy to further improve. I think there's a little typo there. Uh, of course, they have optimized hardware to speed up the reaction, the panel engraves for easier identifiable on and off switch. I think this is something that they uh, reacted to uh, based on some of the feedback that they, that they have. And of course, they kept their original uh, minimalistic design. So after months of waiting, I finally had this scale in my hand. So today we're going to unbox this Time More Black Mirror Basic Plus. Let's go. All right guys, so here in my hand is the Time More Black Mirror Basic Plus version. The box is very, very similar to what the original Time of Black Mirror was like. It's a, it's a black paper box, very clean. I really, really like the artwork on here. And of course on the side, it says Black Mirror Basic Plus. So on the back here, it has some social media handles and this is made in 2021. All right, so let's get this box opened. Very, very similarly, you have a top cover, a certification, a user manual. Let me quickly browse through this. Uh, still being, it's still being charged via USB-C cable. You have a silicone pad, a base, I have a timer button. The max weight is 2000, 2000 grams, which is still good. The readability is up down 0.1 grams. So that's the same as bef before. Uh, battery indicator, auto time, timer indicator, sound indicator, etc., etc., And have uh, a little pour over guide. And of course the surface itself is still waterproof. Which is good. And here's the scale itself. And of course the USB-C cable right underneath here. Very simple, basic packaging, which I like. So right off the bat, I think this scale feels heavier. I think it feels a little bit heavier than the uh, original Black Mirror, but let me go ahead and take this out and take a look. Okay, so they have added these little cushions on the side to help uh, protect the scale during shipping. And of course, just a overlay sticker. It actually tells you short press to tear, long press to, for standby mode. Have the same amount of digits for the weight. It tells you the where the time is, the volume, auto timing mode, battery. And it does tell you on the protective film as well as the back of the unit on how to mute the scale as well as turning on and off the auto start function, which is a lot more clearer than the previous version where it's only on the back. So a lot of people didn't know that they had this function. All right, so let's tear this off. Okay, so right on the outside, the biggest difference, like they said, they added these physical buttons. So some people were having a little bit issue with finding the orientation of the scales that they, they, you know, they had to test different areas. Again, based on my personal use, I never had that issue, but it seems that they have addressed that issue with this upgraded version. There's also no more accidental touches to turn the scale on. Instead, there is a physical toggle right on the side where you can just switch to have the scale turn on. And you can long hold this to have the scale go into the standby mode. So if you leave the toggle on, it's going to function very, very similarly to how the Black Mirror uh, was before. But based on the email they sent me, they added the toggle so that the standby mode could be longer. One thing I am curious about though, is that this scale does feel a lot heavier uh, than the original. So actually, let me go ahead and, and weigh this out. And of course, we're gonna be using the Akaya for this. All right, so this is the Basic Plus. All right, so the Basic Plus is about 394 grams. 
So original without the cover, 369 grams. So yeah, so it, it is about 30 grams heavier. It doesn't seem like a lot on paper, but when you hold it, it does feel a bit more substantial. And there's one more thing that I have addressed with this issue that I really, really appreciate, which is if you remember from my actual review of the Black Mirror, I did mention that overall the scale actually feels pretty good. However, the plastic cover have kind of a sharp edge on the side, which I really don't like. Just wish that they would have smoothed it out. And I thought that it would have made it a lot more premium feeling. And you probably keep hearing me press the, uh, the on button by accident, but <laughs> anyways. And they have fixed it with this version. As you can see, both the top as well as the bottom side are now beveled. So now the whole entire thing just feels much smoother to the touch. And overall, it just feels so much more premium than the original Black Mirror. On the bottom, it does have a slight bit of difference. They changed the shape of the cushioning. So this one have a rounder uh, cushion where this have more of a, a squared off cushion. Other than that, just by looking at it in terms of size, in terms of material, it actually feels very, very identical. And it looks like now they printed a Timo logo on the top of the device. Rather than on the previous one, it looks like it was on the bottom layer. I don't know if you can tell the difference. It's a lot more clearer on the new version. Uh, versus the old, but this is just very, very minor uh, observations. All right, so once again, let's have these side, side by side. I'm gonna turn the scale on. In terms of display, they look very, very similar. In person, the newer display does have a slightly more bluish uh, tone to it. I don't know if this is just a variability uh, from unit to unit, or if they actually change the LED for the, for the display. And you can probably see on the camera now that the display is actually flickering a little bit and this one does not, which is also a sign that they might have changed the uh, LED on the new one. And the older version does seem to be ever so slightly brighter, but overall the design is still very clean and minimalistic. The other thing they have changed is the position of the charging port. So on the new one, it's towards the bottom of the device, uh, closer to the on and off toggle. The old one had it on top. Now, I don't know if this is for better or for worse, I would imagine that having the charging port on the top of the device will make it a little bit easier to charge and use your scale at the same time. Cause I guess usually the wire would go, you know, that way versus having it on the side. I, I would imagine this to be more in the way per se, but maybe it's just a personal preference thing. Now, of course it comes down to the biggest thing that they have improved with the scale, which is that they improve the sensitivity and of course the speed at which the scale operates. So just by having my finger on the scale, you can pretty much see that the new scale reacts a lot faster in terms of display, right? And the new one's responsiveness is definitely very, very similar to that on the Akaya scale. Actually, let me go ahead and bring in the Akaya for you guys to take a look. I will actually say that they are pretty much exactly the same. Like from the moment I put my finger on to the moment I take it off and it returning to zero, it's actually very, very similar. So in terms of this, this is a huge, huge improvement. So if you guys are choosing between one of these two scales, I would say based on sort of the sensitivity alone, this definitely wings out over the old one. All right, so let's do some pour test. So I have two cups here and this one does behave a little bit similarly to the Akaya scales. If I just press down on the table, a little bit, the sensor will actually sense a weight change. So they actually did make this very, very similar to the Akaya's. So now it's actually an even stronger option between this and the Akaya, especially the Akaya Pearl. All right, so let me go ahead and tear this out and we're just gonna pour and see how the reaction is like. Now in terms of reading, the new one does sense the change in weight a lot quicker than the original Black Mirror. Now actually let's bring in the Akaya and see once again, though the Akaya actually does tear out faster. Both of these scales are teared out. Poor. Very, very similar. So before, when I was reviewing the original Black Mirror, if you remember, I did say the Akaya really rings out in terms of weight sensitivity. And in this new version, I think the time were really, really caught up. You still get that double digit display for the time as well as the single decimal space 
for the weight, whereas the Pearl, uh, at least the original Pearl that I have, does not have that function. And now, of course, the Akai does have a lot more advanced functions that you can uh, toggle on and off, such as the auto tear. But for a lot of users that want to save a few bucks, the Black Mirror remains a very, very strong option. All right, so let me go ahead and try out their auto start mode to see if it acts any differently than the original. So just like before, to turn on the auto start mode, you simply press the time button for five times and then the little A symbol is going to light up, letting you know that the auto start mode is on. And then you'll place the cup on, tear it out, press the time button. It's going to count down three, two, one, just like before. And then once you have liquid going into the cup and once it sends a changing weight, the timer should start automatically. Very, very simple, right? And it will just continue to run. So this is basically helpful when you're doing your pullovers, when you want to have the scale start as soon as it senses a changing weight. And I do like the sort of the manual uh, start for the auto mode, just so that you don't accidentally start the timer when you don't want it to. So you press it three to one, and then you start to go adding the liquid into the cup. So this way, if you want that precision that you want the timer to start exactly the moment the liquid hits the cup, you have that. And of course, if I take this off, it's going to pause, put it back on. It's going to continue counting the timer. Once again, take it off, it's gonna pause, put it back on. Let me see if I can get it to start just by adding more liquid. All right, it doesn't work that way. All right, so I guess I have to press the timer button again. Yep, and then it's gonna continue. And of course, just like before, you long hold the timer button for about five seconds. You're gonna go into the mute mode, which is gonna turn off that beeping sound if you, if you don't want that. To start and stop the timer, you simply press the timer button to manually start it, and then you can press it again to pause, and then you can long hold to clear the timer. So in large, in terms of operation, it's exactly the same as the original Time of Black Mirror. And the other thing that they have changed is the beep sound. On the original Time of Black Mirror, to me personally, it's got a more gentle beep. And this one have a sort of a sharp beep. I kind of prefer the original because I think it's not as intrusive as this new one. But I think it's just because I'm more used to the, uh, the original. But I think in general, if you refer to my original re review of the Time of Black Mirror, on the new one, they improved on pretty much everything that I have pointed out in the original uh, video, which makes us a very, very strong contender for the Akaya scales if you don't want to shell out that much money. Now, this one is slightly more expensive than the Black Mirror. I believe when the Black Mirror first came out, it was still around $60 or $70. But you can often find like a deal on these for like 50 ish $60, I, I believe. But this one, since not a lot of sellers carry these, I, I, I will leave the link to this down below in the description though. If you guys want to check it out, uh, it's going to be an Amazon link. But because of that, the price is slightly higher than the original. Honestly, after using the Black Mirror for so long, you guys know how much I love the Black Mirror. After using this for so long, I do think this is a worthy, worthy successor. It's a worthy upgrade. I do recommend that you guys check it out, especially if you're in the market for a uh, good pour over scale. And one more thing I just want to test out is actually the if there's any weight reading differences between the scales, since I have a bunch, I can actually test out between all of them. Okay, so we'll be using the same uh, cup right here. So of course, we're gonna use the Akaya since it tends to be the most accurate. So this is reading 67. Now, of course, it is missing the one decimal digit. So it could actually be that it's 66 point something and it's rounding up to 67. Over here, 66.9.8, and 66.9. Once again, 67. 66.9, 67, and once again, 66.9. So I think in terms of accuracy, this, so I think it's fair to say that it is fairly accurate right off the box. And as you remember from the previous comparison videos, I did actually test it out with the calibration weight from the Akaya Lunar. And all three of these scales seem to be quite accurate out of the box. All right, so this has been an unboxing and first impression of the Time of Black Mirror Basic Plus. Uh, hopefully you guys found it to be helpful. I know a lot of you guys were curious to see what is the improvement uh, that this one has over the original. So I'm so 
so excited to finally have this in my hand. Now, as always, if you're new here, please be sure to give this video a like and of course, subscribe to the channel. And of course, share this video with anybody who might find it to be helpful. As always, please take care. Look forward to the full review coming up and I'll see you guys on future episodes. Bye.